Hey everyone, Namaste and welcome to the 50th, yes the 50th episode of Yoga Shakti with me Shailaja Menon here on this wonderful platform of Anand TV. And I want to thank you all for having been on this journey with me. And what a year it has been. But at this point in our lives, I think we are witnessing a far more positive situation where the vaccinations have gone up, infection numbers are down, and borders are beginning to open up, and a new order is emerging. I'm not quite sure if we will ever go back to life as it was, but for those who have sought to see the learning in this whole year and a half, almost two years of the pandemic, a more conscious and a more evolved way of life is sure to spring forth. So towards that, let us take our practice. In today's practice, we're going to focus a little bit on strength because strength of virya is a very necessary component and mentioned as one of the upayas or skillful tools in the Patanjali Yuga Sutras for a practitioner, a sadhak, to evolve in his practice. So let us work on building strength in our bodies and uh, eventually that strength in the body will translate into strength in our minds as well. So come on to your hands and knees and from here just press down through your toes, press down through your palms, engage your upper back, engage your abdominal muscles and just lift your knees off the floor. Yeah, so just pushing the floor away, feeling the engagement of your back and your abdomen and hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Yeah, so it's not a huge movement per se. It's just lifting the knees a couple of inches off the mat, but that puts tremendous work on your wrist and your um, shoulders and all of those areas activates all of it. So we're just doing one more round here, pressing down and lift the knees off the floor. Holding seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Yeah, so as you release down, just feel the relaxation of your back, your abdominal muscles, just sensing all of those areas. And from here, working into Adho Mukha Svanasana, the downward facing dog position, which in many ways is also a gentle strength position. So in the beginning, just keep your knees bent, move your hips back. This helps you to release your spine. Yeah, and then from here, whenever you feel ready, gently releasing one heel down, and then working the other side, releasing the other heel down. And working in this manner to gently release your hamstrings. The right heel down. And the left heel down. And both the heels down. And stay. Yeah, so really connect. Try to sense the touch of the palm on the mat. Really try to see if you can sense the whole of your palm including the fingers, the fingertips, just really feeling them, gripping the palm and feeling the pressure as the palms press the mat to create greater flexion for your shoulders, deeper release of the glutes, the hamstrings, just sensing all of this work. Yeah, and then just moving a few times, drop your knees down, inhale, arch your spine and look up and as you exhale, press down, engage your upper back and moving back into down dog. Yeah, so it's not just random movement. Each time you move, you try to elicit a deeper release from your body. Inhale and arch your spine. As you exhale, so try to release deeper from the shoulders. Try to get a deeper release from your hamstrings. So consciously working. And slowly release down. 
and release back into child pose. Balasana. So from this position, just pressing down on your toes, lifting your knees off and moving into Adho Mukha Svanasana, the downward facing dog position. Yeah, and from here, once you are comfortable, walking your hands forward into plank position. Yeah, so when you come into plank, remember there are many engagements here. Yeah, so you have to really keep the palms pressing into the mat. Feel the engagement of your back. Feel the engagement of your abdominal muscles. Feel the engagement of the hamstring so that your knees don't bend. So really sensing all of these different engagements. And as you want to increase the intensity, shifting the weight forward towards the tip of your toes while all the while maintaining all the other engagements. Yeah, and then from here, just slowly walking back. So just doing this gentle walk between down dog and plank. And really feeling, yeah, so each time your palm lifts and touches the floor, sensing that connection and then moving forward, finding that deep engagement and slowly walking back. And last round here. And just shifting weight forward, holding well, moving back. And child pose. Okay, and another way that we're going to work from down dog to plank is just by moving a little bit. Yeah, so from here again, move back into down dog. And then as you exhale, just moving forward, lower your hips, shifting the weight forward. Yeah, so as you inhale, just moving back into down dog. As you exhale, just coming forward. Just doing six rounds here, just getting that movement of shifting weight to the tip of your toes. And last round. And release. Okay, so now we're going to do the same movement from down dog to plank, but we're going to bring in the working of the leg as well. Yeah, so from here, moving into down dog, and then you can just start with your right leg. Yeah, so lift the leg up as high as you can. And as you exhale, just bend the knee. Try to bring that left knee towards your upper arm. See if you can get it to touch. Inhale and lift. Exhale and forward. Inhale and lift. Exhale and forward. And as you come forward, maintain all the engagements of plank. Yeah, push the floor away. Engage your abdominal muscles. Engage your upper back muscles. And last one. And slowly release back. And working on the other side. So inhale and lift your left leg up. And moving forward. Remember your breath, inhale and lift, exhale and forward. And release and child pose. Okay, and we're going to do the same movement only thing we're going to add a twist yeah so um, you can just do the twist from here so even here engage your upper back engage your abdominal muscles and try to just twist bring that right knee towards the left elbow exhale and lower down yeah so from here the left knee towards the right elbow and exhale and lower down so just doing two more rounds right knee down and left knee and down yeah so feel the twist right knee towards your left elbow and left knee towards your right elbow yeah and then working the same way from Adho Svanasana. you inhale lift the right leg up and as you exhale bring the knee across 
twist the spine, right knee, left elbow. Yeah, so just work in here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And slowly release. And working with the left side. Yes, yeah, so if you want to take a break in between, please feel free to do that. But otherwise, just inhale and lift your left leg. And as you exhale, twist the hip, knee towards the opposite side. And slowly go back and release down. We can do the same strength work with the forearm action. So just place your elbows wherever your palms were. And then here also check the alignment. Make sure your shoulders and your elbows are in line. And then the same engagement like in plank. Engage your upper back. Engage your abdominal muscles. Hold it well. And from here just step the right leg back. And step the left leg back. Yeah, and this is a forearm plank so continue shifting weight forward like you did with plank as well coming to the tip of your toes even if you'd like keeping your upper back engaged keeping your abdomen engaged keep your neck in line with your spine Okay, and then slowly lower down and turn your cheek to one side and relax. Okay, and then coming back up. So continue to place your shoulders and elbows in line. And from here, we are just moving into one more round of forearm plank. So all you have to do is press down through your toes Engage and lift. And slowly lower down and release and relax. Okay, and then here, like we had the down dog variation, we have a forearm down dog variation as well. So keep your shoulders and elbows in line. And then as you lift your knees off, walk your feet in. Yeah, so as you walk your feet in, you come into a forearm down dog position and just hold. Yes, the important thing here is don't allow your shoulders to collapse forward. You have to hold your shoulders well as your feet continue to walk in. Just holding well here. Do 10 counts or 10 breaths. And drop your knees down and char pose it. Okay, so we're going to go back into forearm and we're going to do those walks yeah, from forearm down dog to forearm plank. So first place your elbows down wherever your palms were. Lift your knees off. right, And then just feel this forearm down dog position. Remember to keep your shoulders well engaged. Don't allow them to collapse. And maintaining this line of your shoulders and elbows, just walk the feet back. Yeah, as your feet go back, you come into a plank position. And then from here, just walk back. So remember to maintain 
the tension at your shoulders, holding it well. As you exhale, walking your feet back. And last round, walking your feet in. And walking your feet back. And slowly release. And relax. Okay, so to continue to build strength here in the forearm position, we're going to go into forearm down dog. And then we're going to work on lifting a leg up. Yeah, so as you inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale and down. Yeah, just doing six rounds here. Inhale and lift. Exhale and down. Inhale and lift. Exhale and down. Just moving with your breath. Moving with the count. Okay, all of that allows us to maintain the grip of the mind and make it a conscious practice. Now working on the left side. And drop your knees down. Move your hips back and relax. Okay, now we're going to do the same work that we did earlier with the plank, where we're going to bring the knee forward. Yeah, so just do your best. Again, this direction of touching your knee to the elbow and all of that is simply that, yeah, a direction. It doesn't mean that, you know, you have to touch, but you work towards that. Okay, so bringing your elbows down, lifting up into forearm down dog. And then you begin with your right side. Yeah, inhale and lift your leg up. And then as you exhale, so you have to go back a little bit because you come into a little bit of a plankish position. Yeah, inhale and lift. Exhale and down. Inhale and lift. Exhale and down. Three more rounds. And drop your knees down and relax for a few seconds. And moving on to the other side. So working with your left side. Okay, remember to keep your feet fairly back as you need some space. Inhale and lift. Exhale and forward. And drop your knees down and chapus. Okay, we're just going to try to finish off with the twist aspect. So we'll just try it from here. So you just have to lift the knee off and you have to just turn your hip. Yeah? So you don't need to touch, just turn your hip, that's all. Yeah, so that you angle your knee towards the opposite elbow. So your right knee is angled towards the left elbow and left knee is angled towards the right elbow. And last round. Okay, so from here, this is the same action when you move back into down dog and plank. So from here again, you will lift your leg up and then you will bend your knee, lower your hip, twist your hip and just bring the knee forward. Yeah, so we're just doing three rounds here. Inhale. Just feel that twist and move your body forward. So you move your body forward, your knee also comes forward. And release and relax. And working with the opposite side. So as you inhale, lift the left leg up. 
and as you exhale twist the hip knee coming towards the opposite elbow and go it back and child pose with this we come to the end of our practice and the end of our session today and i truly hope you will integrate this into your regular practice because strength is such a huge component not just of the practice but of our life and regardless of our age at different points in our life so many situations unexpectedly show up and it is only through our capacity of inner strength that we are able to what they call the storms of life ride these storms of life and come through it without being completely overwhelmed and without completely sinking under it so towards strength let us uh, dedicate our practice and let our efforts you know be embodied by the practice on the mat and to remember that what we do with our bodies is not so different from what we seek to evoke in our minds now please continue to stay in touch with me i am available on my facebook account which is shailaja menon my instagram account as well as my youtube channel which is shailaja menon yoga where all of these episodes have been uploaded so i look forward to hearing from all of you and uh, we end with a universal chant which is loka samasta sukhino bhavantu sarve janah sukhino bhavantu om shanti 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 om all the very best to all of you